Hi, my name is Lovina Silvia Chidi, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your data in Power BI. And we're also going to be using some common DAX functions. Now, before I actually launch Power BI, I just want to explain some basic rules uh, when you clean your data. And one of the first things you should try and do is you should use sensible names as your column headers. Ensure all your columns are formatted properly. You know, you might have a number field, a text field. Uh, wherever you have errors or blanks, try and remove them. Because one of the things I say to people, when you're creating your visuals, your visuals are only as good as your data. And wherever possible, any columns that are money columns, try and format them as currency because when you're doing your visuals, it's better to show your money uh, data in currency format. And last of all, as you get better with Power BI, you also want to use measures or custom calculations, uh, custom columns, calculated columns. All these make your reports more sensible. And wherever possible, try and hide columns or delete data that's not required for your report. We're going to be uh, doing a few exercises using DAX. And by DAX, what I mean is data analysis expression. And that simply means it's a library of functions and operators that you can use to build formulas and expressions in Power BI. There are three types of calculations in DAX, and one of them is the calculated columns, another one is the calculated measures, and uh, the last one is the calculated table. And we'll try and explore all this as well. We'll be doing a few exercises. We'll be playing around with the date DAX function, and we will also create a sales quantity column. So let's get right to it. We're going to launch Power BI now. Um, and I have three files and we can do various data cleaning, basic data cleaning exercises with these three files. So let's get the first data. The first data is the serial analysis spreadsheet. So you can see I'm just importing it into Power BI. And you can see it's already loaded. And one of the first things I always say to people and I do myself, I don't just say I practice what I preach, you know, um, is before you actually decide on editing or loading, just have a quick browse through your data, you know, and see if you can spot any potential areas that need some work on. And you can see immediately, I've just browsed through, I've seen that I don't really have very good column names. In fact, my column names are senseless. They don't make any sense. I've seen a few blanks here. So already that's a problem for me because I don't want my visuals to look uh, incomplete. I'm scrolling through and I can't see any other obvious, you know, problems with the data. I want to edit the data straight away before I actually load it. So I'm just going to click on edit here. And if you remember rule number one, if I just minimize, you'll see I said use sensible names as column headers. So that's the first thing that I'll be looking at is how do I, you know, rename my columns. And Power BI has a lot of functions. One of the things I've noticed already just at a glance is that the second row actually has the headers. So Power BI has a function called use first row as headers. So let's use that function. So the first thing I want to do is actually remove the first row because I don't want the first row to be my header. So I'm going to remove the top row and I just want to remove number one. And now I want that first row to be my header. And in splits of seconds, you can see my data is beginning to make a lot more sense. It's looking much, much better. The next rule I said is ensure all your columns are very well formatted. 
So if we look at all the columns, you can see A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, one, two, three. And if you're wondering what that means, that basically means that power B high has actually determined what your columns are. And in this particular case, it thinks that this column is a text column. The one, two, three columns are number columns. And you can change that simply by right clicking. And when you right click, you get a number of options. You can do so many things here. You can replace values. You can replace errors. You can split a column. You can feel up or down. We're just going to leave it the way it is. But if you wanted to change that format, all you need to do is just click change type and you can change the format of that column. So the most important thing is go through your columns and just make sure that they're very well formatted. And I've just gone through quickly. I can go quickly because I'm quite fast and experienced. And I've just seen that rating column. And rating is about first, second, third, fourth. And you can see lots of decimal points here. I don't really want the decimal points. So all I need to do is just right click, change, and make it a whole number. And you can see it says change column type. And I just click on replace current. Now I'm almost done with my uh, uh, first spreadsheet, but there are some blanks. So you will notice up there, there's a null, there's a null, there's a null, there's a null. And I want to replace these blanks with the value above. And all I need to do again is click on the transform tab and click on fill down. And you can see all my blanks are now filled with that value 110. Once I'm totally happy with my data, then I just go into home, close and apply. And that loads my first data set into my data model. And it's really, really fast because now you can see on the right hand side is my data model. That's the first spreadsheet. And you can see all my fields. And if I click on this data icon here, you can see my data as well. I can still make changes. If at any point I felt that, hang on, I still need to go back and edit the changes. I just need to right click and click on edit query and it will take me back to where I was before. And once I finish, then I can just close and apply again. And also I can do some other manipulation or data cleaning here on the right hand side. If I'm not happy with the column names, I can actually right click, rename or delete columns and I can even bring some new calculations like a new column or a new measure into play. So let's go and get the second spreadsheet.